I'm Susan Bratton, and I'm a trusted hot sex advisor to millions. I get the lucky task of being kind of a dear Abby of sex. Uh, what I love to do is help people learn how to have passionate lovemaking. I teach people bedroom communication skills, and the third leg of that stool is all important, and that's sexual health. Because without your sexual health, it's hard to have sex. Number two is learn how to awaken her body sensually. I don't mean sexually. There are four kinds of touch. One is nurturing, one is healing, one is sensual, and one is sexual. And because you're testosterone oriented, you're goal oriented, you want to drive it to home plate, you want to go right for sexual touch. But women and men equally have a large arousal phase that needs to happen. Even though men think they're instantly aroused, they would do better with stamina, do better with erectile function to take more time becoming aroused and arousing all that tissue. You know, when you do a Gaines Wave protocol, when you do a procedure on a man, you're not just doing the shaft of his penis, you're doing his buried penis, all that great, the other 50% of his penis that is inside his body, you're getting up in there and getting that tissue too. If you don't arouse that tissue yourself, then you're having less pleasure than you could be having. When you think about a woman and you think about arousing her, you have to think about starting with sensual touch and healing touch. If her feet hurt, she's not going to want to have sex. If her she has a crick in her neck, you might have to rub her neck first. So you're taking care of her healing and then her sensual the sensual touches, the soft touches, the stroking of her hair, the kissing of her eyelids and her cheeks, the side of her neck, the brushing of her arms and her legs and her thighs, and then her inner thighs, and then the outsides of her breasts and her sternum and her collarbone, never going right for the nipples, never going right for her genitals, because that's sexual touch and that's too fast. So learning how to slow down and turn her body on and turn her body on even when you're just out and about, when you're riding in the car, stroking her thigh, when you go through the kitchen and she's doing something, coming up from behind her, if she likes that. Some women don't like to be approached from behind. You have to understand your woman. Holding her, squeezing her, kissing the side of her face, and then releasing her and walking away. You didn't touch her to get sex. She has to trust that you're not always trying to get sex from her so that she can relax and begin to actually like you touching her again. That's number two. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I have a lot more resources about this topic in the links associated with this video. Go ahead and click those now.